Some of the most advanced research in diabetes being done right here in Colorado. The Barbara Davis Center is known across the world for the care and research of type 1 diabetes. As Mackenzie O'Keefe shows us, researchers are getting to the heart of the disease. The myeloid cells that I was talking about are these green cells. Rachel Friedman works on a microscopic level. Observe the interactions between different types of immune cells within the disease site. She's watching immune cells colored red, blue, and white in the pancreas. There are a lot of those myeloid cells being protective. She can also see when the immune cells kill a healthy cell. The cell has just been killed because it loses its fluorescence. Type 1 diabetes occurs when the immune system mistakenly attacks insulin producing cells. We really need to understand why we're ending up with essentially friendly fire and destruction of a tissue. In order to cure type 1 diabetes, the mistaken immune response has to be stopped. Jordan Iacobelli is working on that intervention. How the cells of the immune system move throughout the body. He watches immune cells leaving the blood vessels and going into the pancreas. He wants to create a targeted therapy to stop that movement. But they would still be able to move through other organs and other tissue in the body of a patient and still protect that patient. This microscopic research is being done at the Barbara Davis Center, funded by the Children's Diabetes Foundation all with the goal of someday curing patients with type 1 diabetes. I'm Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado First. And you can get the latest on diabetes research at the Children's Diabetes Foundation's Epic Diabetes Conference tomorrow. It's entirely online, so it won't be canceled. We have ticket information for you at cbsdenver.com.